Do you normally roast them? No, we boil them. Okay. Roasting is better. Roasting is better. Okay, so you're gonna need specifically Pepperidge Farm Herb Season Classic Stuffing Bread Crumb? Chestnuts. Chestnuts. So the reason why this is always such a good stuffing is because all of the love and work that goes into it. Right, Grandma? Right, right. <laughs> Yeah. It definitely does. There's nothing quite as gross as uncooked sausage though, so. Okay, so I will, I, I gotta show you guys this recipe, but. I took pictures of all the ingredients. I know, but this is a vlog. There's yeah. gonna be a blog post for it. Yeah, I wanna go Perfect, it's me. Mm. Okay, that cranberry sauce, I need to start making, not only for Thanksgiving, because it's so healthy. So healthy and so good. So that is cranberries, orange. Including the orange rind. It's time to chop, Nova. Chop, chop, chop. What you'll need for the stuffing is mushrooms. We're using the cremini mushrooms. Two. Don't even. We're gonna do two. Three whole yellow onions. Pepperidge Farm Herb Season Classic Stuffing. Two bags. Roasted chestnuts. Um, how many celery stalks? That much. Six. Is Parsley. Bell's famous stuffing season. It's so good for Thanksgiving. Jones sausage. It has to mm. be Jones. Must. It's a must. Says G Ma. The secret ingredient is roasted chestnuts. And that is what took the most time. Grandma was chopping them. If you watch the live that we just did, and then you go can go back and watch it. Grandma's doing it. Go check out the seasoned sausage. There's two phases. Uh, there are two phases. All the prep and cooking down of the vegetables tonight with the sausage. And then tomorrow, the final preparation with the eggs and the bread, and into the turkey it goes. This is an in turkey. God bless the food processor. Oh, yeah, Sage. Have you ever done it without the food processor? Oh, every year before I got involved, and then I became the one and only chopper for the last decade, Grandma said I saved two hours at least on her preparation. Really? Two hours. And don't worry about cleaning it out, because I'm going to. Do the next vegetable. This is the first year I'm here for this. Instead of drinking and getting, you know, wasted. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna start crying. Is that why you wanted me to do this so you didn't have to cry? All right, here, just give me the end there, nowhere near my fingers. Get that little corner. Thank you. Oh, it hurts. How crazy is that? People cut this up, it made them cry, and they're like, yeah, let's eat it. What sense? It's what just, sense does that? Let's see. The onions have been used forever, but could you imagine the first time like eating an uh, artichoke? Or, what's that crazy? Well, someone fruit? had to do it what's for the that first dragon time. Fruit, like in the. But we love mushrooms. We're sleepy time. <laughs> One more time. Oh come on, Shane. It worked. Very he goes well. fruit ninja. Well, it's very well, it's well, Let me see. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not sure I need your help. <laughs> I'm not sure I need your help. Just Normally careful. we're out drinking, but this is what we do when we help. <laughs> okay, that was ridiculous. What? I'm watching his knife and I didn't put my blade back in. <laughs> that was ridiculous. Hot mess cooking show, baby! Oh my god. Parsley. Yes, that's uh, another ingredient. I know, this is the most unorganized. I needed everything in one spot. All right, so in the large pan where the sausage was browned, which I guess I didn't show you because nothing in this cooking show is gonna be proper, just go to the blog post if you want. But in the same pan that you brown the sausage in, you're gonna start throwing all of the chopped vegetables in. Are they normally that big? Mm-hmm. Really? When dad cuts them. <laughs> dad, why is it like a... What kind of seasoning is that? Oh my god. Bells. Bells. Famous stuffing season. It's so good for Thanksgiving. It's a must have. Rosemary, rosemary, oregano, whoa, I can't speak. Rosemary, oregano, sage, ginger, mejoram, thyme, and pepper. No salt, GMOs, or gluten. Wow, this camera sucks, and it's new. And then all this is gonna start That's cooking down. down. That cooks down. I don't know why. This camera won't focus, but I'm trying my best here. Wait, that's so funny. They literally like jump around until they're gone. There we go. 
So this cranberry sauce is a little bit of orange juice, cinnamon, honey, just one. Navel orange, whole, and then two bags of cranberries. Why do we have two? I was gonna make two, but we don't have people. Okay, one. Oh my god. We have half the people. Just go to the blog, guys. Just go to the blog. Yeah, not no comparison. No comparison. But you know when I broke For this out, years. your eyes went like this. You couldn't believe it. Your eyes couldn't Wonderful. believe it. So, Grandma, you used to chop it all by hand? Yes. Yeah. Hours. How long did it take you? Long. Oh, a long time. A long time. To do that? Unbelievable. Everybody chopping. You know, I have these, but that's okay. We'll have chunks of celery, which people love because it cooks too. Okay, put that in. This is so I'll good. I'll take a picture for you. I'm gonna have to make little graphics. Pepper. More Time ube. out. Ube I'm eating. Girl. Ube, ube. No, that's not my nickname. People really call me that. Mom. You're the ube girl. <laughs> Don't trip on the dog. No, but why are you sitting right there? She's following me around. That be you're the best. You're beautiful with the water and pestle in your hand. <laughs> Oh, it looks so good. I wish you guys could smell this. This is mm. the best smell. So good. So good. So good. I got you. <laughs> Buddy. All right, so grandma's watching church in the back if you hear that. But after this all cooks down, this is what it looks like and it smells incredible. After it cooks down like this, do you just put it in the fridge until tomorrow? Yes, in a big bowl. And then tomorrow we mix it with egg and breadcrumbs. Mix it, all right. mix it, mix it. I will see you guys tomorrow because this was the messiest video ever. I'm gonna go listen to church. So I lied and I missed when they were finishing the stuffing the next morning and putting it in the turkey. But basically, after you cook all this down the next morning, you really just whisk two eggs, add it to that, and add the breadcrumbs in, and then bake it. You can bake some on the side or you can put it all in the turkey. I personally like it just on the side. Um, but yeah, let me know if you guys want some more secret family recipes. I think we have a few more that I haven't already shared with the Hot Mess Cooking Show. Um, but yeah, I love you guys. I'll see you in the next video. Let me know if you try this recipe. Also, thank you to Grandma for passing it down. Gma. Oh my god, I can't believe I called her Grandma. I only call her Gma. No one cares. I'm a